hey guys we are back with another amazing tutorial and today we are going to make a xylophone app as you can see I can play all the sounds of xylophone in our app isn't cool so yeah let's have started alright so let's create a new project for our xylophone app I'm going to make a great Create a new Xcode project, single view app, definitely. I'm going to name as uh, music player. That's it. Next and create. So, yeah, I'm going to make uh, first the storyboard of our app. Where is uh, my storyboard? Okay, so here it is I'm going to make uh, on uh, iPhone 8 let me close down so basically I'm going to put some buttons on my screen Okay, so from inspector you can change the color of our buttons there you go and uh, I'm also going to change the text to one and for copy and pasting uh, I'm going to press the command D the buttons first uh, select this button and press command D command D all right uh, I want uh, basically seven buttons one two three four Five and seven. Cool. Now for layouting them, I'm going to Put them all in a stack view uh, you can choose the stack view from here and obviously the stack view needs uh, top bottom trailing and leading constraints also so let's uh, give them constraints first from stack view I'm going to give it uh, 20 trailing leading and finally bought hit add for constraints uh, then I need uh, fill equally fill and uh, spacing to 10 perfect you can also check uh, our design on the every screen so make sure it looks good uh, on every screen orientations uh, not only on landscape mode you can also check on uh, the portrait mode it's looking fine okay so let's move forward uh, so here we have basically property called tag I'm gonna use it uh, so basically tag represents an object for our button I'm finding my first button tag one and press enter okay, I think it's 
register. Then do the same thing for like every one of uh, we have tag here two. Then button number three. This is almost same work. Tag three. We have button four and tag four. Button five. Uh, here we have tag. Tag five and button six. Tag six. And final button. Button seven. We have tag here seven. Okay, cool. We are almost done on storyboard. Let's uh, move forward to our view controller to do some coding and stuff. Okay. Let me make their action buttons. Because obviously we need them. Like uh, we, what we basically want is uh, when we click on the button, on number one, uh, the sound play which was basically our number one button which we are going to assign so let's make an uh, action button for this you can just click press ctrl and drag it over here i'm going to name my function as uh, button pressed you can obviously rename as per as your choice and type is to ever connect now the most important thing is here like if I hover on this uh, action it basically shows me that uh, my action is connected to only one button what I want here is uh, to connect same action with all my buttons so for doing that uh, I'm just gonna drag it over here now you can see that my same action method used for two different buttons. I'm going to do it repeatedly for all buttons. Okay, perfect. So what I basically want here, like uh, when I press button one, I can distinguish uh, from its tag ID which we basically assigned uh, in my inspector you're right here so every button have their own unique text and I will uh, identify them from their tag ID so let's close the storyboard and do some coding this is gonna be interesting I'm going to import uh, AV Foundation class. Uh, what basically AV Foundation do? AV Foundation supports us for playing audio, videos, sounds, MP3, etc. Uh, for our iOS app, basically. And I'm also going to call here AV Foundation. Oh, sorry. A V audio player delegate for playing the sound okay and I'm also going to assign it to a variable A V audio player implicitly unwrap now let's make some array for sound all right so here I'm writing the name of the sound file okay so let's copy and paste multiple times because I have seven buttons and seven sounds. So let me rename their names. Not three, not four, not five, and not six. Sorry, six and not seven. Now it's time to import our 
media files. So it's over here, I think. In my content, uh, I have sounds. Let's import it. Just drag and drop it. Okay, make sure you check this button. Add to target and destination, then click finish. Now I have all the sounds which I'm going to play on clicking of uh, buttons in my sounds folder and I'm going to play it okay so far so good let's do some coding for button press action and uh, yeah for selected sound equals to audio Maybe, oh no, 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 I'm, I'm doing something wrong here. Um, sound. Sound very. And, uh, let's distinguish from your tag ID, China tag, minus one, do I really need it? No, no, I don't think so. Okay. Now I'm going to make a function for playing the sound. Playing sound. Blah blah blah. And I'm passing a parameter here for two sound. Two sound. Give it this type string. And let's call this function. Play sound to sound with selected sound. Selected sound. Okay, perfect. Complete the function coding. Uh, Alright. Let the uh, sound URL equals to bundle dot uh, main dot URL. URL okay. It should give me the for resource. Okay. For resource I'm going to pass my choose sound variable. And what with extension do is it just mentions what kind of sign sound we are going to play. Um my sound files are basically dot wave files. So I'm going to mention it here if like my sounds are dot uh, mp3 uh, I will mention it over here so let's move forward and make some body for do a catch why do we need some catch I will explain it just wait okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, not I'm going to call my variable try audio equals to QV or uh, audio player and contents of URL so as you can see my contents of URL uh, let me type it again so I will show you better it basically throws an exception that's why I make uh, do catch statements for catching the errors Alright, so yeah, in URL, what I'm going to pass sound URL. Okay, perfect. Now, just play it. Audio dot prepare to play audio dot play. So, what basically prepare to play and play do? It's like a uh, they are doing the same thing but uh, what actually prepare do it uh, prepares the buffers of sound it reads the sound data from our memory uh, and play just play the sound oh sorry I forget the implicit unwrap of sound URL and uh, let's run it was never emitted oh yeah okay let me close this warning uh, Let's run it. I'm sure 
Mike will not give me any error. I hope so. I hope. So yeah, it's working. Let's play deeper down. Okay. I'm getting something error. Fatal out of range. Oh, I know it. I know why I'm getting this. I just this my phone, but let's play it again. It should work now. Perfect. Okay, so if you like the video, please comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.